Good morning, everyone. I am wearing the most wonderful dress today. This is by a brand called Leo and Lynn. I don't think I've ever worn a dress as well made, other than like wedding dresses and things like that, as this. Oh my goodness, it is just look at the detailing. This was sent to me recently and I have been very, very excited to shoot this. And today I am off to Blenheim Palace where I am shooting a reels at the moment for by Terry. So we started shooting this morning and I'm gonna take this dress and another Leo and Lynn dress. In fact, it is this very beautiful, colorful one over here with big, beautiful puff sleeves. So I'm gonna be changing into that at Blenheim Palace. I need to pack some accessories to take with me. And what I'm shooting is the new by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Balms. Oh, yes, I have been waiting for so long for By Terry to bring out some new balms. I have always, always, always loved their tinted Balm de Roses, and this is the next sort of generation of that, I guess. And they come in six shades, really, really beautiful, like natural shades, but then some that are a little bit darker, um, just to be a bit more dramatic. But I'm shooting three of these today. I'm shooting like three of my favorites. Now I have some lab samples because I've been trying these before they launched, but I've also got the new ones as well. So I'm gonna apply the lab samples so that I don't ruin the beautiful new ones. But my favorite ones are Nudissimo, Tea Time and Love Affair. Love Affair is a bit of a wild card for me because it's slightly darker, but it's a really beautiful, like quite flushed lip color. So I'm shooting those today, I'm taking those with me to Blenheim Palace. And, oh, I mustn't forget the compact as well. That is what I'm doing today. I'm also gonna take some bits from Jimmy Choo. I just opened up, I'm just gonna give you a little sneak peek because I think I want to shoot, oh my goodness, look at this bag. <gasps> Oh my goodness, is that not perfect? Like for a wedding day? Oh my word, I've got the shoes to match. Oh, I'm not even showing you, but look at it with this dress. I've got the shoes to match as well. But this is like modern day bridal, isn't it? I feel so modern day bridal. This with the pearl shoes to match, obviously not these. You wouldn't want to, well, I mean, you might want to get married in these. Who says you can't? But no, I thought this was quite a nice little look. So I'm gonna take some shoes with me from Jimmy Choo. And I'm also going to take some more accessories for that dress. I'm gonna take the other Jimmy Choo pearl shoes. Perfect. So yes, that bag, I'm gonna take it in the box so that it doesn't get ruined. Cause I have a little bit of, content to produce and let me find the shoes. I literally have a tower of Jimmy Choo in my dressing room at the moment so bear with me whilst I go through all of these boxes. Ooh, so cute. I can just tell this is going to be one of those cases where I open up all of the boxes and it's the last one. <laughs> ah, we have the heels. Perfect. Okay. I also should have washed my hair this morning, but I didn't. I literally spent the entire day in the garden yesterday with my hair in a bun on my head. And I thought my hair was safe. It was not safe. It was not safe, sad times. But I love this dress because it's one of those dresses that you can just pop on with some boots. And it just looked really cool and edgy, even with like biker boots, if that makes sense. Like you don't just have to make it all pretty. I love contrasting boots with dresses, I love it. Like so, not everyone loves it, but it's one way of wearing your pretty dresses and not feeling too overdressed. And I've got to have afternoon tea later on, so I thought that this would work really well. This is where we are right now, at the wonderful Blenheim Palace. Look at this, look at their roses. They're giving me all of the summer vibes. It looks so nice, rose goals. I am wearing the most wonderful pair of Jimmy Choo shoes. I can't believe I don't, I've not had these before. They are so nice and I've got the bag to match. This is such a cute size. And this outfit is giving me such wedding vibes. Obviously like it'd be my own wedding. If I was gonna renew my vows, this is what I would wear. Oh my goodness, it's so perfect. And then I match the decor and it is so wonderful here. Look how quiet it is. We are basically here having a look around um, in the nicer weather because we were here at Christmas time and got to have a look around when it was like all nice and festive here. I'm not sure if you remember, but they had the banquet table and we shot in front of the fire and it was just incredible. Well, 
Now we're here in summertime and it's very, very lovely. And it's not sunny today, but actually it's like the clouds are sort of providing a big soft box so that we can shoot here. So now I'm gonna change to another Leo and Lynn dress and uh, some more accessories. And this is the final location of the shoot. And it is absolutely wonderful. I am wearing another Leo and Lynn dress. If my husband is feeling very nice, he might actually show you my dress for me. Thanks, babe. That's my cue. That's your cue. <laughs> this is very colourful and very, very beautiful. It's got a really lovely kind of like bubbled hem skirt and it's also tapered down, which I love very much. And now I'm ready to either attend a wedding or have my own wedding. Right here. <laughs> and use the croquet lawn. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> this is my croquet lawn. Croquet lawn. <laughs> Every house needs one. We are currently sitting down for our afternoon tea at Blenheim Palace. It's all right, boys, don't worry. I don't talk over your stories, but you just all start talking over, over mine when I start filming. It's a good job that you're not doing a story and you're doing a vlog. Isn't yeah, it's a good job, isn't it? If it was a story, you'd redo it, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> the boys have got coffee and they brought us champagne, but my glass is still completely full because sadly, we're all driving, aren't we? So sad times and I love champagne. And I just know that because we're at Blenheim Palace, it'll be the best champagne you've ever had. But I feel like I'm in Paris right now. This shot, this is Paris. That is Paris. Yes, yeah, so I've got, I don't even remember what tea I've gone for, but I went for the fanciest tea that they had on the menu and uh, they gave me a little tea timer which is actually makes me laugh because I've got a lipstick on today that's from by Terry and it is called tea time but yes I'm very much feeling like I am impact oh babe I think we've got an Instagram shot here I'll give you an Instagram picture thanks babe Ooh. our afternoon tea has arrived however one of the boys are going to swap me a raisin scone for a non-raisin scone gracias thank you very much Pleasure doing business with you. Nice transfer. <laughs> so we've got the savouries down here. We've got some cream scones and oh, miss the jam. And uh, we've got little cakes. And then we've also got this little cake here, which looks very, very lovely. So um, this is our setting. And I just think, I just feel like I'm having the best day ever. I feel like the laziest vlogger, but I'll just let you vlog for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'll just film you, film it for me. So that's going straight in my video. Thank you. <laughs> Duplicating content. Literally, you put your video up last night of um, London and mine's not even up yet. Good. <laughs> Bloody nightmare, you're always stealing my content. No! Stop it! <laughs> this yeah, naughty little mosquito. Should be I don't know if you can see him, but this little naughty mosquito. Oh, it won't focus on him, but he's stolen a bit of my cake. Come on, Mr. Mosquito. There we go. You can see he's got a little bit of cake in his mouth. Look, see? <laughs> he's eating my cake. <laughs> Come here for the quality content. Just look how beautiful this area is. All of these roses, all the way down here. This is like the perfect little wedding venue. It really is. And then in here is another area that you can have afternoon tea. Obviously, if it's like cold outside and you want to come here in the in the winter. Oh, look at these flumps. This is the room inside. And it is just so beautiful, like the ultimate orangery. Complete with oranges. <laughs> I love it. So that room that I just showed you, this is obviously, I'm guessing, what it used to be used as, or this was like a special occasion. But that is greenhouse goals. I'm taking all of the terrace inspo from this particular spot here. Look at these beautiful planters. They've got real ironmongery around the, the wood. Oh, stunning. And then they've obviously planted seedlings all around the base. And of course they're sage. Nothing looks better on a stone backdrop than sage. I love it. Now they have a wedding rehearsal here this evening. I'm obviously not dressed to be going to a wedding unless it's my own. But uh, imagine this for your wedding pictures. How fabulous.
Good afternoon everyone, it's now the day after Blenheim Palace and I don't know why this camera is making me look so pale. I think it's one of my old cameras and it's like lost its goodness basically, but it's making me look pale. Anyway, the kitchen is a mess and I can barely move my neck. I mean, I'm being overdramatic there, but all of that hair whipping yesterday to film the reels, I've jarred my neck again. I did it the last time that I did a hair flicky reels and I've done it again. So like slowly throughout the day, I'm like, ah. But we had the most wonderful afternoon tea. We were supposed to go and look at the, the flower show, but we didn't have enough time. But honestly, the people at Blenheim Palace are just incredible. Like it's such a welcoming place to go. I love going there. So we're actually gonna make sure that we go there and spend the day there when we're not like filming anything because we've never done that before and we really need to. They were also incredibly kind and have given us a Blenheim Palace oak and this is one of the like oak saplings and basically they I, I think they were saying that they fall like from the tree and then just they become trees themselves obviously like self-seeding I'm guessing I probably sound really silly saying that but it's just so lovely we've got two oak trees in our garden we've got one there and we have another one in in the woodland there so we've got some decisions to make in terms of we've got a magnolia tree to plant and i think maybe we can ask you guys actually where would you guys plant an oak tree and a magnolia tree because i feel like a magnolia tree is a little bit more decorative to be seen i guess but it can also make a lot of mess and we want to get it right but obviously there's a lot of trees as well. I always thought that the magnolia tree would look really nice in that corner to just sort of make a little bit of like a, a focal point because the wall is so pretty but it just kind of like stops into there. And I thought a nice little magnolia tree, maybe like a bench or a swing seat underneath it would look quite nice, but who knows. The oak tree I guess can go anywhere. We've obviously got Winky's tree growing in the woods there. You can see it like staked but yeah let us know in the comments where you would plant it like where do you think is a good idea for us to plant our trees and i'll let you know who wins basically <laughs> they also gave us some really lovely thoughtful gifts as well we've got some gooseberry and elderflower jam i love everything to do with elderflowers so that's really lovely that's come from blenheim palace as well and for ali obviously some blenheim palace honey which was just wonderful and then also a little a little honey a jimmy flip and a little honey pot as well it was just such a lovely a lovely day i wish i'd got there early enough but i had so much work to do in the morning it was such a nightmare i've also done my hair differently today guys let me pop you up here i don't know if you can see this but i've done my hair differently i've not straightened my hair because i'm on a bit of a hair journey at the moment and i'm like i'm trying to just get my hair back to like a really nice place and i've never had any problems with heat styling but i thought every little helps so I'm gonna try and cut it down a little bit. So I've still used heat, <laughs> but what I used to do when I would do my hair is I would straighten my hair and then I would wave it with the straighteners. So I've not straightened my hair today. And what I've done is I've used tongs. I've observed hairdressers, observed, observed, ob observed hairdressers and how they do it. And they usually kind of like rub it on the, the sort of uh, root so that it smooths it down a little bit and then you kind of tong it from the way up. It took me forever, and I've got a little war wound as well from it, but um, I actually really like the results. I'm usually trying to get volume out of my hair, but the ends of my hair are so thin, and just, like, they just, I've never, like, my hair usually, I think I've said, mentioned this before, my hair usually, if I was to, like, run my fingernails through it, my hair is so sharp and thick that it could cut through my nails um, and, like, take off a gel nail easily. It's really like thin now. Like it, it doesn't even feel like my hair, it's really weird. And so I have to be really careful with it. And it's not had, like it doesn't have the volume that it used to have. So I would usually try and get rid of volume in my hair. And now I'm actively trying to like add it in basically. So yeah, but I actually really like the way it feels as well. It feels a little bit more like tousled and imperfect. And I don't mind like zhuzhing it around. I'll be touching my hair a lot because it's it's it feels you know a bit strange at the moment because I'm not used to it like this. But yeah, I'm also wearing my Tala jumper and I've had a delivery, a very big delivery from Le Mer. I need to stop calling it Le Mer. It's Le Mer. But this is for their blue heart. Right, turn me over and spray me with your blue spray bottle. Okay, where is my blue spray bottle? Hold on, guys. Oh wow, would you look at that? 
thought I could see writing on it. Together with Mosaic Squared, we're delighted you could join us virtually to celebrate the Le Mer Blue Heart and World Oceans Day. Protecting the oceans takes trust, teamwork, and a shared vision of a hopeful future. By the end of 2025, over 75% of Le Mer's packaging will be recycled, recyclable, reusable, refillable, or recoverable. Oh, that's so lovely. As you know, Mr. Mill and Gordon is a huge fan, so he will absolutely love this. And there's all of this little like arts and crafts stuff in here. Lovely, and that's so good to hear about their packaging as well. I love like that so much packaging nowadays is just recyclable. It just makes life, even just like from a home sense, like so much easier because being able to recycle things or put them on the compost pile or whatever is just so much better. I love it. Porty is currently on a new diet. I have him on Bella and Duke raw food and fingers crossed, this is going well. This is going really well. He's had like, oh my gosh, he's just had his third portion. It's making me feel like such a bad mum because I've really, like I've struggled to get him into food. You got your toy. <laughs> I love the way he just looks like he's on a mission whenever he's got like one of his toys. It's like, Miss you, miss you. But yeah, he, he stayed with Carrie when we were down in London and he kept eating Bolly's food and Bolly was on raw, but I'd tried Porter on raw before and he didn't really like it. But now he's eating so much. It's like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm like, am I feeding you too much? Everyone said that you just won't eat when you're full but then also I'm thinking have you not been eating but you don't look like you've not been eating so I'm just I'm having a god do you know what my heart goes out to any mum that's a mum because the amount I worry about him like last night he ate so much food that his tummy was gurgling and I was like I don't want to go to bed what if something happens <laughs> now I know what what parents are talking about with they're like you just want to make sure that they're always breathing <laughs> but yes yeah, so we've had a few little uh, finishing touches in the house and um, we now have a new piece of artwork and Porter's toy down there. We have a new piece of artwork in the hallway which I think really works well with this little space as well. And I think I'm gonna call him, I'm going to call him, what should we call him? As well as helping me with the trees in the garden, who is this? What is his name? I wanna know a little bit about him. Where do you think he came from? I want a story and why he's framed here. <laughs> but I love the colors and the tones, they work really, really well in here, so um, I actually really like this piece. I think some people might find it quite spooky, but I actually really like it. And then, we have a little bit of a finishing touch in here as well. We just had a little bit more done in here. We've got a new laundry basket, which I absolutely love. This is just so nice and fits so lovely in here. I love a laundry basket. And then we've just got a little bit of shelf styling, obviously, Musée Home and little ceramics and brushes and things like that in here. So it looks really lovely. And a little mop and bucket and some laundry because this is actually a laundry room that we use. You help me mummy, good boy. We also have our finalized color scheme for the terrace outside. So this is what the cushion, like the seat cushions and lounges will be upholstered in, which is the uh, rose tarlow for perennials. So this is supposed to be waterproof. And then these will all be little like throw cushions to just accent. I love this and I love the colors of them. Just a really lovely selection, so we can't wait. I've also popped these little lanterns. These arrived for dressing the dining table outside. I'm having a bit of a tidy up in the kitchen whilst this one tears everything to shreds. On you, my boy. Good boy. Good morning, everyone. I am up in my dressing room. It is 7.30 and I have already done a mini workout. I just wanna like, feel my best so I'm just working on like mostly kind of weights and stuff like that because my body responds really really well to it but basically my PT at the moment just set me a little three like move circuit which is like a hundred sit-ups which doesn't sound that hard until you're actually doing it 50 press-ups and 50 like v-ups like single leg v-ups doesn't sound that bad and then you're doing it and you're like actually this is really hard <laughs> so I've done that already this morning but Today I am, I have a very exciting day. I am getting my hair done. My goodness, I haven't had my hair done now, I think since November, November or October, when I last saw Despina. Basically, I was waiting for Despina to come back to the UK and obviously with the restrictions at the moment, she can't. And 
my hair needs some TLC and a refresh. I've probably got about four to five inches of roots because my hair grows so quickly. My hair is still breaking, but it's still kind of like, it's on the road, so it's doing well. But yes, I'm going to go and get my hair done today. And the guy that I'm going to see actually was part of my like wedding, like makeup and hair party. He um, helped with Desipina on the day, but she says that he's just incredible. So um, he's also really nice and I've met him before, which makes me feel really comfortable. So I'm heading down to Michael John and I'm going to get my hair done with him. I don't really know what to expect because we have to be quite careful with my hair. But before we go there, we are going somewhere called Lark and Berry. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about them. So they do um, like fine jewelry piercings. So if I want, I think I could get a piercing today. I don't know if I'm gonna do that because I feel like it would be a bit of a nightmare getting a piercing and then getting my hair done. But um, they do obviously bridal jewellery and they do piercings and um, their, their sustainability message, not that I'm obviously the biggest person to talk about sustainability, but um, I think it's always good if a brand is already doing something, so I'm just sharing it. Um, our diamonds are never mind, that's a given. However, we believe in going a little further by planting trees, per every purchase and offsetting 100% of our carbon emissions through responsible shipping. Piercing jewellery is just absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. So I think I'm gonna go and have a look and see um, like what kind of piercings I can get done. They do like garlands and things like that, like really, really beautiful things like this crawler. 14 karat gold. Can you imagine? Where is it? Can you see that? That like just nestled in the crease of your ear would look so nice, or even where I have my one. I can't get this piercing out at the moment, so I can't put my um, garland back in, but maybe they'll be able to help me. But we're gonna go down and basically do some diamond shopping in London and have a look around. And I think that sounds like a really lovely day. I'm actually kind of taking this week off a little bit. I didn't upload a video yesterday, which has worked out well because Ali's actually taking this week off to a certain extent as well. And even though I'm gonna be working, I'm just not gonna be uploading. Um, and it gives me a chance to like get ahead and just do my own thing. So yeah, it's gonna be a really lovely day. I'm gonna get myself ready. I've got my coffee. Yeah, so I'm actually going to be picked up today and we're gonna be driving down. And usually I'd get the train because it's quick. But today I'm being picked up in a Rolls Royce, guys. Yes, a Rolls Royce. <laughs> And that sounds very, very snazzy. So um, it's gonna be a very interesting day and I am really looking forward to getting out of the house. I'm actually in London quite a lot this week, actually. I've got a job at Harrods on Friday. Tomorrow is a bit of a pamper day as well, which is nice. I'm getting my nails done because have you ever seen such bad nails? <laughs> What's going on? Just a really nice week, which is quite nice to have. I've got to be honest, it's nice to have a week that's like, even though I'm gonna be out and about, a little bit more chilled, not quite so intense content wise, and I get a little bit of a breather, especially after the launch of my lipstick. Cool. That was blooming incredible. Like, so unexpected. Obviously the kit, I think the kit and the lipstick sold out online, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But I had a few messages from people saying that they weren't able to buy it and then they were. That was because basically there is stock allocated in the new Milton Keynes H Beauty store. Um, and then there was stock allocated for the Harrods website. And I don't think that they'd allocated enough, which, was funny because obviously m most of my audience are worldwide, but it's um, they hadn't allocated enough online. And so they needed to move stock over, which probably took a while from the Milton Keynes store, but it is available to buy there. So if you're from the area and you're planning a trip to H Beauty, you can check out in there. I'm obviously gonna be wearing my lipstick today, which is nice because I'm going full face which I like quite a lot. It was very nice when I get up in the morning and I know that I've got somewhere to go and I've got stuff to do and it's gonna be a nice day. So I'm gonna get myself ready. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. Oh, by the way, I am listening to this book at the moment by Brianna Weist, which is called 101 Essays That Will Change The Way You Think. Um, it was recommended to me by my friend Anna 
and I love it. This is my outfit for the day. I've done my hair using the GHD Curve. My hair desperately needs a wash, but I do know that it is good not to wash your hair just before you have it colored. So I've left it. And actually, since I've not been straightening my hair, it definitely lasts longer. Like it's got more volume for longer so I can like not wash it so much. But I am wearing this Zimmerman dress, which I love, and some church's boots because these are comfortable and also flat, but also they look quite cool with a like feminine dress like this. I always love the contrast. I've got my 28 Kelly and I'm gonna take my acne leather jacket as well. So that is me all done. I'm wearing my code 8 lipstick as well today. And um, yeah, ready to go. Bye my little boy. Good boy. Bye-bye. Mommy will miss you. Little snoot magoo. So this is our mode of transport for the day. Suicide down doors. to London. Yeah, very nice. These aren't suicide doors. Yeah. They just open backwards. Yeah, suicide, isn't it? No, suicide is up. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Suicide one. Us girls now. Yeah. So we've got some water. Like the We are travelling in yeah, a Rolls Royce. Yeah, I think it's a I don't even know what type of Rolls Royce it is, but it's very, very snazzy. <gasps> Wowzers. So I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh, stop it. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. So, oh, there's a big thumbprint on the screen. Let me give you a clean. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> That's not being cool. So, we're in the car. And we have a booklet from Lark and Berry. Planting ten trees for your ride today. How lovely is that? That's really cool. Oh, I love that. Uh -huh. So this is going to be giving some information on the brand, which I've kind of given you a little bit of information already, but I think that we'll get the most information when we're there. Let's go get you blinged up. Yeah, very excited. You were wanting to shake the envelope there and hope a tenner fell out like a yeah, birthday like card, weren't you? <laughs> Let's spend my pocket money. Look at the twinkly roof. But we have arrived at Larkenberry. So Diamond solved climate change and <laughs> Jerry Halliwell needs to remake her music video for It's Raining Men with Raining it's Diamonds. Raining Diamonds. Exactly. There we go. That's my lessons from today. <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? <laughs> oh yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Very cute. Okay. That's such a delicate one as well. How much does this one cost? $349. That's such a good price as well. You have sapphires and diamonds on that one. <gasps> You can put that on and then when you... Stop it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So how do you put it on? Okay, so if you just wanted, I guess, is the engagement ring. It's that. Engagement ring. Mm -hmm. Then, when you get married, you just snap it on like that and then... Oh. My. Goodness. Shame. That is so beautiful. 
I actually cannot cope with that. So this is the engagement ring. So when you get engaged, this would be the ring that your significant other would give to you. And then when you get married, this is basically your wedding ring that slots inside to create the perfect little like curated stack for your wedding ring. Wow, oh my gosh, I love that. That is so beautiful. So I am here at Larkinberry and I was thinking about getting a piercing today, but because I'm getting my hair done straight after here, I thought if I get my if I get a piercing, I might end up being in a little bit of pain. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back another day and I'm gonna get something because I definitely want to get something. It's been such a long time since I've had any kind of piercing and I feel like I need to commemorate this trip to London. I know lots of you noticed that I took my garland out, but I took it out because it was hurting because the screw on the back of it was too big. So I'm gonna have something put in that is like a garland as well, but just slightly more like fitted. And we're just gonna have a little bit of a curation of my ear and play with things and just have a change up because everything's changing at the moment. So I feel like I need to mark this. Oh yeah, well, wow, nice yeah, and tight. So it's not gonna move, yeah. That's why oh it's, my God. can I see? Yeah, you should be short and then. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And it fits so nicely as well. Come wow, it fits so there. snugly at the back, doesn't it? There you go, there. Oh, perfect. Beautiful, isn't oh, it? I love Cute. it. So we have some new additions to the stack. We've got this really beautiful garland. And I know that lots of people have always loved the garlands that I put in my ear. So this is a really, really great price point. And then we've got the halo, which I actually haven't changed my tragus for years. And so this really is quite something. And I like that it's slightly bigger so that you can see it because I felt like my other one was completely lost. And then we've got this one, which is the bar. And this has got three little diamonds in it as well. But I'll link all of the uh, pieces that I've got in my ear um, in the description box down below. And um, I'll pop a link to their website so that you can check them out. So we've just finished up at Larkinberry and now we are zooming across London to my next appointment. And myself and my hair are very much looking forward to getting spruce. It's a very lovely day for us to be spending in London, but now I have lovely sparkly ears. I actually can't believe how much sparklier these are than my other earrings. I need to clean them. We have arrived at the new Michael John salon. It's been a while since I've been to a Michael John salon. Good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness. It feels so good to be back. <laughs> um, I fully intended on vlogging when I was in the salon yesterday, but I was gonna do it on my phone because it's such a small salon that I was like, I'm not gonna get my camera out and like get anyone in the background. And then I went to use my phone and my phone ran out of battery. And so I just gave up, okay, I just gave up. But wowzers, I am so happy to be back. We've chopped off all of like the, the like dead ends because obviously I've not been to the hairdressers since like November, October time. So all of the sort of ratty ends have gone, all of like the broken bits all come off and my hair looks so, so healthy. I am over the moon. So I think what I had done is I've had some balayage, but then I've also had reverse balayage in between the balayage. And then I've had foils around the front because 2020, 2021 has been a year and your girl now has some gray hairs that congregate around this area of my head. And so we've brought the foils right up to, to the root to disguise them because I don't want to have any like permanent color on my hair. So um, that's what we're gonna do for now. It's probably something that I'm not gonna be able to do forever because eventually I will probably go even more gray and um, I may need to have color on my hair. But at this point, it's all about just disguising and feeding it into my hair. But oh, look how nice it looks. It just feels so healthy. We did loads of like Olaplex and I actually ended up buying a load of Olaplex stuff as well because what they explained to me was if you use a mask which has too much protein in it too much um, your hair gets really stiff and it can like break so all of the Olaplex stuff I believe is like designed around being able to just like leave on your hair overnight most of them anyway I bought everything from the Olaplex range except for the shampoo and conditioner because we use the shampoo and conditioner on my hair but I want to check and see if it like irritates my scalp I've had a little bit of itching this morning so we're gonna have to see on that one but I bought literally 
everything and that's what I'm gonna, gonna just use on my hair moving forward basically. I'm gonna be having some regular glosses and do you know what the really lovely thing is as well? Usually I'm used to being told that like I have to wash my hair. I'm not allowed to wash my hair sorry and now I don't have to do that. They're just like no no. I was like so how long do I have to leave it before I wash it? And they're like you just enjoy your hair. I was like oh <laughs> amazing but I'm gonna be going back sort of every like five weeks I think to get a gloss at the moment just to keep the hair moisturized what I really want to do, but as Penis told me that I might have to wait a bit longer, is I want to get a, a Brazilian blow dry. Apparently there's some that don't use formaldehyde anymore. That was really horrible, like when it would like make your eyes itch and stuff like that. But I just think for like the ease of not having the frizz in my hair, I think I'm going to eventually, when my hair is at a point where it can obviously handle it, then I'm going to um, book myself in for that. But yesterday was the football and England beat Germany, which obviously I know I've got loads of German followers and subscribers, so I obviously, this doesn't happen very often guys, so we're just going to sort of enjoy this moment, but it doesn't happen very often. If you're like a football follower in Germany, you'll know this doesn't, this just doesn't happen, okay? so. Just let us have this one. <laughs> it was a good atmosphere yesterday in London. Um, I actually ended up meeting my cousin and Carrie afterwards. We went to Granger & Co. Had some drinks, had some food. Oh my goodness, the chicken burger at Granger & Co. is by far the best chicken burger I've ever had in my life. FYI, if you ever fancy going to Granger & Co. And we just had some drinks and had a laugh and then we got the Rolls Royce home, which was very very lovely like such a nice way to travel i could definitely get used to that but that is definitely not how i usually travel it's usually ubers all the way today is a fairly chilled day at home because well, actually no i'm not at home today i'm ho at home in the morning about 11 30 i've got to leave i'm going to Suster and hicks to have a fitting for my suit but i've also got some trousers i'm taking those max mara trousers that i got from louise via roma with me to get them tailored, like taken up. Um, I'm also taking a pair of Joseph trousers and I'm wearing my most comfy linen outfit, which I love. This is a H&M linen shirt and then my H&M linen trousers because I would really love to order some like bespoke made trousers. I know that everyone laughs when I say the word bespoke. Guys, I just love the word. Just let me have it, okay? <laughs> I'd like to have some like tailor-made trousers. This is like the most flattering shape on me and I feel amazing in them and they're comfortable because they've got elastic at the back. So I'm gonna speak to them and see if I can like put in an order for a load of this silhouette of trousers. Unless H&M is gonna like make me <laughs> them anytime soon I, I need I need more of these trousers in my life because they are so comfortable and so chic and just so wonderful the only thing that I am very conscious of is that I haven't been out to the kitchen garden for like two days so I need to get out there at some point today probably when I get back from having my nails done I will head out there I've got to feed my cucumbers and I've got to feed probably my pumpkins as well and just give everything a good old water in the greenhouse so that is the plan of action for today. We also have the Nicholson's guys here at the moment. They are putting in some more flowers, some more roses, uh, replacing some of our salvias because sadly some of our salvias have been munched to within an inch of their life. And um, that's not, you know, it's not our fault and it's not their fault, but bless them, they're helping us sort it all out. So busy day, but busy day of nice things, not busy day of hard work things, um, which should be good. So I'm gonna get myself sorted. I'm gonna go make myself a coffee and do some admin work on the computer and um, crack on with my day because we love a cracking on with the day on my vlogs, don't we? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. But th this looks lovely. Yes, really that's nice. Really... Oh, wow. Oh, it's that's so nice. nice. So, I have just finished up my first ever fitting for a suit, and it is looking absolutely incredible. The fabric is so perfect and it made me look so tall i'm like living my best life but now we are going to go downstairs and have a little bit of a fitting for my shirts because what i'm going to do is get a really nice smart shirt kind of like this one because i actually really like how this sits on my shoulders it's nice and like i like these darting down here is really nice but i'm also going to do a more relaxed one because i think that i'd often wear 
like a more relaxed linen shirt with the trousers and wear the pieces separately. So yeah, we're gonna go downstairs and do that now. And then we're gonna come back up and we're gonna look at my, what is it called when it's all separated? Well, it's gonna be recut. It's gonna be recut. So I'm gonna get to actually see it in all of like the different pieces again. So I think that that's gonna be really interesting. So we're gonna go downstairs now and try, try on some shirts and some fabrics, I think. I can't work on things that are untidy. <laughs> oh, even the sound of those scissors reminds me of my yeah. non at the state of my eyes i don't know what is wrong with me my eyes are like like this and i just feel so like lethargic it's really bizarre oh turning i have just finished off having a manicure and a pedicure and i went for something a little bit different this is studio white with a like pearlescent veil over the top and it just looks so delicate what i wanted was something that wasn't like a bright color but was gonna like offset a tan i wanted to try it i really like it really like it i've got it on my toes as well so i'm gonna test drive it see if i get bored of it but i thought it made a nice change from my usual nude however now i need to get home i need to eat something because i'm absolutely ravenous and yeah i need to i think i probably just need to take my makeup off because i just i think i'm having one of those days where i probably haven't slept enough i probably got up too early to train i was training at half six this morning and i've been out all day and i probably just need to have a chilled one so i'm gonna probably snuggle up and watch some tv we're watching the jeremy clarkson farm thing at the moment and um, we're only one one episode in so we don't really know if we like it yet but i'm gonna get home have some food and snuggle up i think but good day very nice chill day Lovely. good morning everyone i realized that i didn't speak to you when i got back because i went for a walk and literally did exactly what i said i was gonna do and i just chilled and we watched i actually watched love island last night <gasps> interesting these are my nails. I need to show you them up close because I feel like you can't see them. They have this kind of like pinky hue. Ali's mowing the lawn. Can you see that? It's not even focusing. But yeah, these are my nails. They've got a kind of like, you can't really see it unless it's in person, but it's got this really beautiful, delicate mother of pearl pearlescentness. And they look so nice. I've got it on my toes as well. Dee dee dee. These two are just hilarious with each other so funny they're honestly like brothers they just they make me laugh so much <laughs> but i wanted to update you before um i said goodbye for this video because you might have seen that i took my garland out the one from larkenberry i think because basically what we did is we cut the barbell down and i think it might have been a little bit too short and so it was a bit uncomfortable. So I managed to swap it out for my old one, but I think what I'm just gonna do is order another one because it was a lot more comfortable with the size. But this one, I had to take it out because it's right in the crease of my ear. Yeah, I didn't wanna like not let you guys know because I thought, you know, I know what the internet's like and they'll just, uh, yeah, dramatize it. So I wanted to say that I'd obviously um, just swapped it out, but I will be getting another one because I absolutely love it. It's a lot more delicate than this one as well. And it didn't turn as much. This one always turns nightmare and also this one's really expensive i've taken delivery finally which i've just put on my stories but i've taken delivery of my new glassware you have no idea how long i have been waiting for this to arrive this is from garden trading and i pre-ordered this because when i saw it i was like this is exactly what i'm looking for it is so hard to find big recycled glass glassware that has a really natural green hue to it I bought these ones. I can't remember where I got them from now. They are in a previous video and I love them because these are slightly more textured than these ones. These ones are a lot more sort of perfected, although they are really nice and irregular, which I love. But um, these are just too turquoise. I don't love this. It doesn't fit with the kitchen as nicely as these ones do. I also got some wooden napkin rings and I got the tumblers as well. One of the tumblers was broken, but I've actually gone and ordered another two boxes of these because 
I know that we're going to use them and we can get rid of our hideous pint glasses because I hate them and another box of these anyway because I think that these will be used for like juice and these ones will be used for like water or something like that but I love them I've also got some peonies and Porter's lunch on the side. And I didn't show you what I purchased from Olaplex. So basically, this is what I'm gonna be using on my hair as like a treatment. So apparently I should apply this for 10 minutes to dry hair so that I can see where I've applied it. And then apply on top, number three, and then sleep with this on my hair, apparently. And then in the morning, use my shampoo and conditioner. If I can use the Olaplex one, which I think I can, I will. And then use the intense moisture mask. No, wait, I use the number six, the leave-in, and the moisture mask, and then I've got the bonding oil as well. It was, it was expensive to buy it all, but I think that it will be worth it, and my hair feels honestly amazing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this good old-fashioned, like, just week in the life vlog, basically. I am gonna be picking up my camera again, I'm gonna be filming some stuff upstairs now, and um, I'm also gonna be filming again this evening because I'm off to London again for tomorrow so I've got lots to do. It's just been a nice chilled week here and I had a little bit of a lay-in this morning which was lovely and so did Ali actually and he was like I needed that but he is now in the garden today getting our garden ready because we've got friends coming over at the weekend and it should just be a really lovely lovely rest of the week so I hope you enjoyed uh, the video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week as well. Bye!